Asherella here, the original one. Um, I think Season's Greetings is my favorite winter holiday greeting because it encompasses like all the other potential winter holidays. Like not everybody celebrates Christmas, not everybody celebrates Hanukkah, but there are several other winter time holidays that you can encompass by using Season's Greetings. And I know there are some people that get mad because they're like, why don't people in stores say Merry Christmas or whatever? And it's like, because not everybody celebrates Christmas, you asshole. Like, be a little more sensitive. It's 2019, almost about to be 2020. You'd think you'd be seeing a little clearer. Before I get into it, I had to turn off my earrings because only one of them was lighting up. Like, what the heck? These are awesome. Uh, these Christmas light earrings, they have three settings. And I paid a dollar for them, so I guess I can't be too mad that one of them is not lighting up. But anyway, that's not what I'm talking about at all today. But I am talking about something that is super Christmas and everybody's like into right now. It's this season, it's this time of year, and I'm not talking about shopping, cooking, or overindulging. I'm talking about ugly Christmas sweater season. As you guys probably know, ugly Christmas sweater trend has really been on a rise over the past like five or six years. That's when like all the ugly Christmas sweater party themes and things like that really started to like pick up steam. I do want to show off my ugly Christmas sweater. It says I slay. This is new. This will be the first Christmas that I am wearing this Christmas sweater. I just got it like about a month ago. I have a couple others. I don't have a huge collection or anything. But as you guys know, I'm original Asherella and I am slaying like a saying. So, you know, the connections there, it is spelled differently, but you know, it's kind of a pun and it's, it works, it works. But anyway, so I want to talk about ugly Christmas sweaters just really quickly because I get a little frustrated when I go into like Walmart, Target and other stores and they've got these super insanely like god awful Christmas sweaters and I'm not saying this one isn't in like the B realm of what I'm going to talk about but like some of them blow my mind they totally miss the point so their first type of ugly Christmas sweater are the old sweaters the ones that you find like at the Goodwill and at the consignment shop that somebody's grandma made or you know a company manufactured to sell on HSM HSN Home Shopping Network work as like a legitimate garment for somebody to wear and celebrate the holidays. They were not made to be ironic and you know they were very elaborate but that was like just showing like their Christmas enthusiasm but in a very different way than people do it today. So when people first started doing like ugly Christmas sweaters type stuff you'd go to Goodwill you'd go to like consignment shops or like look in your mom or your grandma's closet and see like what sweater they had that looks like an ugly Christmas sweater because a lot of the sweaters were not made to be ugly or funny and then that trend started like really growing so these you know clothing manufacturers like tuned in because that's what they do and they started manufacturing new ugly Christmas sweaters and those just got more and more elaborate and more and more over the top and this is one that was like newly manufactured, but it is not nearly as bad as some of the new ones. And I know that the point is to be ugly, but the point is not to have been made ugly. The point of an ugly Christmas sweater is for it to have been made as a serious Christmas celebration garment that is just very over the top. That like the manufacturer or the maker like felt like this was like a very good piece of clothing not that it was like intended to be worn ironically and so there are so many like new ugly Christmas sweaters now that are just god awful they don't even make any sense like I literally saw some that had like unicorns sewn on them and some kind of dumb like barely even related to Christmas type saying I saw one recently this was like just this year that had like a pug on it with big cat eye glasses on and like maybe some Christmas lights and tassels. And it's like, yes, yes, those are very ugly. And yes, you can wear that to an ugly Christmas sweater party. But that is like this original spirit of ugly Christmas sweater stuff was to wear these old ones that were serious Christmas sweaters 
in a funny and ironic way, you know, and I like the idea of buying like old, you know, vintage, ugly Christmas sweaters, if you can find one, because it's really green, um, I actually think this sweater is kind of cute, like, this one, like I said, it kind of borders on the over-the-top, I mean, it's newly manufactured, but it does border on the over-the-top, like, ugly for ugly sake type Christmas sweater, but then there was also, like, some, like, designer, somebody that works for the manufacturer, put a little effort into making it not be the most god-awful looking garment ever made, but some of these are so bad, and we have morphed into ugly Christmas sweater dresses, ugly Christmas sweater, like, vest, and, I mean, you can find some of the old ones of those, too, but, um, yeah, it's just, like, all of these companies and stores that are selling these over-the-top, god-awful, ugly Christmas sweaters are just really missing the point of the whole ugly Christmas sweater thing, and, you know, it's, it doesn't have the same punch. It doesn't hold the same, like, ironic, like, tone, I suppose, um, but, you know, whatever, whatever makes you happy, you do you. If you love those god-awful, ugly, newly manufactured, ugly Christmas sweaters, by all means, get them and wear them and wear them year-round if that's what makes you happy. I do really love this one. I think I, like, really scored whenever I found this one. I've got another really cute one that's, like, a rocket body um, that my mom got me, and that's, like, probably my favorite one I've ever had. Um, but, yeah, that's, that's really all I wanted to say. Two types of ugly Christmas sweaters, ones that are super over the top and miss the point, and then the original like vintage ones, and that is like the real ugly Christmas sweater. But anyway, that's all I have for today, guys. Like I said, season's greetings. I'm sure I'll do a few more holiday and Christmas themed videos before Christmas is upon us. Um, let me know what your favorite Christmas greeting is, and let me know if you have ugly Christmas sweaters what they're like, are they old ones or new ones, or what your whole Christmas sweater deal is. Subscribe to the channel, make sure you leave me a like and a comment and put a ring on it. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok at both Original Asherella. I hope everybody's having a great night. Always tap in, never tap out, and keep on slaying like a saying.